Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another product review and in today's product review I'm going to be reviewing the Lancome Idol Eyeliner. This is what it looks like. And I'm really excited to try this and review it for you because it won the best eyeliner for the 2023 Allure Awards. And it, it claims to do so much. So let's put it to the test. Let's see what the hype is about. Stay tuned and keep on watching. So this is the outer packaging of the eyeliner and I'm just going to quickly read the claims for you. It says it has a 95% of an even continuous line. It also says 94% of the application is easy to control as well as an up to 24 hour wear. It also has an extra slim and flexible tip as well as being waterproof, transfer, flake and smudge resistant. So we're definitely going to put all of these claims to the test and this is actually what it looks like on the inner packaging and at the back it says that this shade is a glossy black and that it has a six month shelf life and it's up to 24 hour wear. It also comes in I think five different shades so it has a glossy black, it's a brown, they have an emerald green um, a gray and a blue as well so they do come in quite a few shades I'm just gonna open this up and as you can see it really does have a very fine slim tip as you can see that's really fine and thin and it is quite long as well so I do love that it is quite slim and long and that it is quite fine because especially when you're trying to achieve that fine precise winged liner this is going to be perfect for that i'm going to just quickly shake it because i know that normally with felt tip liners sometimes the ink doesn't transfer quickly to the tip so we're just going to give it a quick shake and then we're going to apply it so I don't have any eyeshadow on, I've just applied on concealer and powder so I have a clean canvas to work on and I just wanted it to look clean and neat for you so that you can see exactly how the eyeliner is being applied on as well as seeing if it does live up to the fact that it applies on with ease. So I'm going to zoom you in and then we're going to start the application process. So before we start, I just want to quickly swipe it on the back of my palm just so that we can see if it is really waterproof and smudge free. So it's gliding on quite easily as you can see and I must say that it is very very pigmented. So that glided on really really well. We're going to keep that on and now we're going to go on and do the eye application. You can see I'm starting from the middle of my lash line and just working my way to the inner corner. It just basically gives me a better start, warms my hand up a bit. And as you can see, I'm just following the line and just creating a straight line. And you can already see that this felt tip application is already so glossy. It definitely lives up to that claim of being high gloss. I definitely was having a little bit of struggle here because the ink was not coming out as effortlessly as I would have liked it to. So I definitely had some struggle with winging out this liner and still struggling to get that ink out. But I'm going to complete this and try to flick this pen and get this liner properly done and come back with my thoughts. So guys, the eyes are complete with the eyeliner, of course, and boy, oh boy, do I have a lot to say about this eyeliner. So I'm going to complete the rest of my makeup and come back and let you know my final thoughts. So before I get into my thoughts, this is what the final look looks like with the eyeliner complete. 
Okay, so I'm back with the final look. Obviously, hair isn't done, but that's okay because this is purely on reviewing the Lancome Idol eyeliner. And like I said, I have a lot to say about this eyeliner. But first, before we go into my thoughts on this eyeliner, remember I did swatch it on my hand. So we're going to do a quick test to see if it is waterproof. So I am going to just spray my hand. I do have a water bottle here. And let's just spray. I've got some in my face. Okay, but that's fine. We're just going to take a paper towel. And we're just going to dab it. Obviously, we don't want to wipe it off completely. But we're just going to dab that off. And as you can see, definitely waterproof. So I'm really happy about that. I'm just going to rub my finger through and again you can see that it is definitely smudge proof so i'm gonna bring that closer to you so we are definitely happy about that so let's go into my thoughts so i'm back with my final thoughts so let's see first does it live up to its claims 100 percent. it is definitely waterproof definitely smudge free flake free transfer resistant I'm very, very happy with all of the claims that it has made. We haven't tested out the 24 hour long wear, however, but the rest of the claims is absolutely 100% correct. It also definitely does have an absolutely amazing grip for you to hold it, to apply on your eyeliner and get that perfect precision wing liner, especially having the slim, thin felt tip point it really does make the winged liner so much more effortless now i love the fact that it is felt tip now normally with eyeliners i usually use the liquid ink liners and i noticed that with ink liners liquid ink liners it will leave you with smudgy eyes and if you don't allow it to dry completely then by the time you blink your liquid eyeliner is smudged so i love the fact that it is a felt tip point because that allows for the liquid to actually dry off faster however my only i would say the one thing that i was highly disappointed with was the fact that I had to flick this eyeliner like I don't know how many times in order for the liquid to come out. So every time I applied on my liner, which was perfectly applied on it, applied with one stroke and I love the fact that it has such a high gloss to it. As you can see, it's still glossy on my lid. So I love that about it, but it's just that the fact that I kept flicking this pen in order to get the ink to come out on that tip. Now, I don't know if I've been given maybe a bad batch, but please, if you have bought this item, if you currently have it with you, if you've tried it out, and if this has happened to you as well, where you've continuously had to flick this pen in order to get that ink out please let me know in the comments because i don't know if i've just been the one that's been blessed with the bad batch or if this is happening to all of these eyeliners i think that's the only bad thing that i have to say i wouldn't say bad thing but i think that's the one thing i'm really disappointed in that like I literally had to keep flicking it in order to get that ink out in order to continue with my wing it was just frustrating to a point um, because it glided on so easily so well and I just had to keep flicking the pen so have you had this issue if you've bought this liner let me know in the comments I'd really really love to know so that's it from me guys I hope you enjoyed this product review and if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also if you're new to my channel or you're passing by please do consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more content like this and once again like i said if you have come across this item and you've had the very same experience that i did please let me know in the comments i'd really really love to know and until my next one take care and god bless bye